Hi gang, as you can see, and as some of you were asking for, I finally got my Fresnel lens to power a so-called solar tower to turn a turbine. This was a continuation of my previous efforts where I was working with things that actually looked more like solar towers. See these earlier videos for more information about the older versions 1 through 5. The problem with those was that I was putting the solar tower at the focal point of the Fresnel lens, creating very high temperatures. This meant a lot of heat loss and very difficult to build solar towers. This new approach still uses the same total solar energy from the Fresnel lens, but converts it to heat much further from the focal point. This means lower temperatures inside the device itself, less heat loss, and it works. This is the new so-called solar tower, which is really a mini screen type solar air heater. It uses two black painted fly screens and black backing as the absorbers for converting sunlight to heat. I duct taped it to my mirror that I use when doing solar cooking with my Fresnel lens. I'm not actually using the mirror itself, other than as something to mount the solar tower onto. See my Fresnel lens and mirror video for more about using this setup for solar cooking. Anyway, here it is in action. Okay, so there's the setup. Just tilt this up a bit. So it's not hitting the sides. So you can see it turns quite well. Now I put the paper turbine on the bottom there. Let's go have a look. As you can see, the turbine does turn, but it turns much slower than it does at the hot output. And of course the original idea is to put a fan like this here, a PC fan. And there's no way that's going to turn that, not even close. Some of you had suggested putting it underneath on the intake instead. And same thing, nothing happens. I start by cutting a piece of glass for the glazing. Don't do as I do here because my glass cutting technique is horrible. Okay, so I got a cardboard box here. It's about two inches deep. It has a hole in the bottom for air to go in and a hole in the top for the air to go out. And a piece of cardboard for the back for added insulation and to uh, decrease the depth. And another piece of cardboard painted black that I'm going to use for the absorber in the very back. I have these two fly screens that I painted black on one side. I'll go in there like that. Now on this side right here on the bottom, the air will come in this way above the screens, but in the back, the air will have to go through the screens in order to get to the hole in the back. So the air will be heated as it passes through the screens, and it will be heated by the absorber in the back. Okay, so as you can see, I put four dowels in here, one, two, three, four, and they're there to hold the screen at a slant. Uh, at the bottom here, the dowels go below the input, at the top, they go above the output. So I'll just put in the last dowel. Okay, so I've got the uh, output tube right here and an identical one for the input tube right here. There we go, the glazing's on. I uh, put aluminum tape all around the edges of the glass just for safety. Then I put uh, full, um, um, weather stripping all around the edges of the cardboard and then laid the glass down on top of that. And then I um, tied it down with some copper wire around each corner and then put some uh, caulking, silicon caulking, all around it. So I'll let that dry overnight and then tomorrow I'll just put this piece of cardboard on top to give it just a little bit of extra protection for the glass and it's ready to test. Well, thanks for watching. See my YouTube channel, Rimstar Org, for more videos like this. That includes the one about my previous solar tower attempt, version 5. Also the one I mentioned about solar cooking using my Fresnel lens and mirror. And if you want to learn about Fresnel lenses in general, see the Fresnel lens, what it is, and testing video. And don't forget to subscribe if you like these videos, or give a thumbs up, or leave a question or comment below. See you soon!